yeah the installation is completed you can see we have powered the panel so we want to test now uh how the thing works we want to see the two sensors i installed with the nozzle these are existing on the center fire alarm so you have the two zone one and zone two of the fire alarm with the discharge nozzle then the cylinder is over there so i see the pipe being coated with rust resistance the actuator is out first so that we can test so this is cylinder 52 liter cylinder so we can start by activating the manual core point you see the bell outside to let the people here know that something is going on and this is the gas release core point so uh we have put a protective transparent cover because of uh, to avoid accidental activation so you have to lift the glass to activate Let the people outside know something that is going on. Let the founder out, flash outside. That's it. So, the people outside should know that something is going on. Okay. So, I see that now. It's counting down. It's counting down. It's going from 10, 10, 10, 11, 10. When it gets to zero, that shutter will make to show that gas has released. Okay, you see that shutter has opened, so the pin is out now, which we now open the valve and then the gas will release. So let us reset. To reset, we first of all have to reset the core point in the key. That's it. We have to reset to the key. Then um, we silence. First of all, access key, you have to return it on. The access key, the access key will be turned on. Then silence the internal buzzer. Then silence the ultrasound buzzer. You have to press them twice. Okay. So, now, the panel will allow you to reset. And, and everything will return back to normal. Okay. Then uh, also have to reset the the actuator before putting it. You can see the pin is out. You can see the pin. So you have to manually press it in 